Hello, Duke of Cornwall. Hello, King Uther. My, my, you have such a lovely wife. What is her name? Hello, gentlemen. I am Green. Wow, you are so beautiful. Can you come over to my castle and I can show you around forever? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I must refuse your order. I am a faithful wife. What are your values? I am the greatest of all greats, and you should obey my wishes. Uther fell ill and was found by his faithful friend, Sir Ulfius. <coughs> Ulfius, I am sick from anger and love, and there is no medicine for those. Please care for me. I know the solution, my lord. I shall go find Mole in the woods. <coughs> Several months later. Congrats on your son. Now you shall give him to me and I will give him to Sir Ector, whose wife will raise him. He will soon be named Arthur. Thank you, Merlin. That's my baby. Go get him, son. Two years later. <coughs> I have fallen victim to a terrible sickness. Sir, is it your will your son Arthur be king when you are dead? Yeah, I give Arthur God's blessing and mine. If he does not honorably and rightly claim the crown of England, he shall forfeit my blessing. Okay, cool. Ten years later. Since Uther's death, it has been proclaimed that whoever pulls the sword out of the stone will be crowned the King of England. Since his birth, Arthur has been living with his foster father, Sir Ector, and his foster brother, Sir Kay. A jousting tournament has been put on to determine the strength of the men. I'm so excited to joust to the death. Oh wait, I think I forgot something. I think I forgot my sword. Don't worry, dear brother. I will ride back and retrieve it for you. Duh! You know I'm the best hermano. Tournament was also put on to test the soldier's strength. 
Merlin raised a 20,000 soldier army. However, the North outnumbered them with 50,000. I'd like to give a toast to my loyal French Romanos, King Bors and King Ban, to help me assist me in my fight against King Lot and his army. Manana at sunrise, we fight! The two sides ruthlessly went to war. After a tough competition and the death of many skilled fighters, the two sides decided to end the battle. I think these are the bravest knights and great fighters. They are our mortal enemies and have proved it. It is a shame that they are against us, for they are good knights. Listen to them, Arthur, and end the war. All right, it shall be ended. Ban and Bors returned to France, and Arthur went back to the city of Caerleon, decorated with all the gold and silver that they won from the war. Arthur, I have something I need to tell you. Well, yes. What is it, my lord? Arthur, is it you, my son? Son? Who are you? And how do you know my name? Well, you are basically known all around. And I am a great mother. What? I'm flabbergasted. We must have a feast to celebrate, for all the northerners must accept me as a king, and for I am not the bastard child. They had a feast for eight days to celebrate this family joy. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I bother you for a moment? I have a really important message on behalf of my husband, King Lot of Arthur. Of course, my lady. Why? You are so beautiful. I show you around my castle. <laughs> Arthur conceives a child with Morgan Le Fay, who he is unaware is his sister. This child will later be named Mordred. I have just awoken from a terrible dream. My lands and people were destroyed by dragons and serpents. What could this dream mean? I'm terribly horrified. committed a sin. You made love to your sister and now have a child. His child will grow up to soon destroy your kingdom, knights, and you. That was my sister? I am a terrible man! Merlin, is the child you spoke of born? Yes, my lord. When? On May Day, my lord. Oh no, I cannot have my incestuous shame known, for I am terrified of the prophecy. I shall save my life and my honor, and I shall declare that any child born on May Day shall be sent to me, barren of death. I must bring these babies to the coast, for I cannot bring myself to kill them. Better watch out for the babies in a boat. Is this Mordred, son of Morgan Le Fay and King Arthur? Mordred was taken home and nurtured by the man's wife.
Baby's in a bow. Baby's in a Why? bow. Oh my god. Here you are. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 